Welcome back to my channel. I literally just came back from the hybrid art fair. It is a parallel event to the Arco art fair and this one is a very special. It's the hotel room art fair and also it is the shortest art fair. It's only three days. It's in the Petit Palace in the center of Madrid happening from Friday noon to Sunday in the afternoon. So it's only three days. It's very intense and it's very hybrid and I'm going to show you from the inside of the hybrid art fair. This is the fourth edition. I remembered seeing their first or second edition. I was there from the beginning and I was visiting it several times. I really enjoyed it. When I first visited, I was amused. I was like thrilled by the concept. And I have made another video last year talking about the concept of the hybrid and showing you if you want to check it out. But otherwise, I will repeat just a little bit. So if you have not visited an art fair like this so that you can be familiarized. So hybrid art fair is uh, happening in the hotel chain, a boutique hotel chain, and the gallerists are hiring the rooms. And in the evening, they're sleeping in this hotel beds. At eight in the morning, they have to get out of the bed and make the bed. So the room service will help them set up the exhibition. And during the day from 11 a.m., people are coming to visit the fair and the gallerists will show people around and talk to the collectors. And then in the evening, again, they are going to make the bed remove the art, sleep there, and in the morning it comes again to be the art fair. So I like the hybrid concept so much because they are making the most out of the hotel beds. Really, like every inch of the room is utilized days and nights and it's the really good bang for your buck because you're only paying once. It's around 1,000 euros, so it's a little over $1,000 for the three-day fair for, for the room. So if you pay a hotel room, it's going to be at least 100 uh, euro or dollar during this Arco Art Week is very demanding. So the fact that you spend a little more, you get to show your art, you get to sell your art and be participant in this art fair. So I would say it's a really good concept and the fact the hybrid concept of between the rooms, between the art, between different kind of concepts. I'm going to show you also during the video that you know it's more than just you know hotel room fair, but it's a really a very organic hybrid and a mix of different elements. When I visited this fair today, the first impression I had was the internationality. There are around 35 uh, galleries and organizations and artists. It's a mix of everything, so I cannot tell you exactly how many are the gallerists and how many are artists. So it's a mix of everything taking place in two different floors, in different space and rooms in this Hotel Chan Petit Palace. As you can see, there are galleries from Germany, Italy, from uh, Israel, from uh, Netherlands, from uh, Swiss and from also Taiwan. I'm not saying that Taiwan is a nation or anything. I'm just trying to not be political in this video. So Taiwanese artists also present in this art fair. And I was very surprised because why is it so international? Just across the room is the drawing room. And I loved the drawing room so much as well. However, drawing room was much more regional and people were mainly Spanish speaking and not so many uh, galleries from outside of Europe or Spanish speaking countries. Why is that so international? And then I said, suddenly realize one thing. Guess what? Who needs a hotel room? Foreigners, travelers, right? If you're from here, you don't need a hotel room. So the fact that the hotel chain is able to promote itself and um, you know get in touch with international organizations, international uh, business travelers, uh, cultural visitors, and it can promote and connect international people. And that was really the key. So I was like, aha, uh -huh, that's why it is so international. And I really enjoyed the nice international mix. I think it's very important to have that diversity. Galleries and artists from everywhere is really the highlight of this fair. The second impression I had was the artist's self-representation. So the first booth I visited was from the artist Laura. She won a prize called the Premio Importarte by the Petit Palais Hotels. The hotel chain gave her this opportunity to produce the works. They paid her 1000 to produce the works and then gave her this booth for free. So she's able to present there to represent herself in this fair as the solo exhibitor artist. I think it's a really good thing. Last year, I 
I made a video and I was actually in that video saying a lot of artists form this uh, temporary groups to be able to show the art in the fair and they should actually give this opportunity to individual artists and here she is. So I'm very happy for her and I find that it's a really amazing opportunity for young artists like her to be able to have this opportunity. So well done hybrid. The third impression I had was about the videos and the VR, the virtual reality and the new media art. I visited many booths that they have amazing video art. One of my favorite booths is the White Garage from Catania, Italy. I don't know if I pronounced Catania correctly, but it's a very uh, cute uh, booth. You go inside, you see um, installations, and more importantly, they have the VR glasses. And basically they give you this uh, double exhibition I cannot show you because you know with the goggle my camera cannot work so I cannot show you how I see I can describe it so I see like the works of uh, Banksy you know, graffiti on the wall I see the TV screen as a different uh, kind of screen showing different things so it's very cute and I find this experience very very unique and the artist himself came as well again that is like self representing the fact that you're frontline you don't just rely on the gallerist to show your art you are there you're with the visitors getting that feedback so you can be better next time and it's very very crucial for the growth of an artist video art new media art as an element in this art fair is very very uh, predominant it's really the rock star of the hybrid art fair this year and i really enjoyed this element and i was feeling that a hybrid could be the fair for new media art if they want to be the next thing i noticed is that every single piece is an installation not a conventional way to show your art on the wall because the fact you're not even allowed to drill holes on the walls or to paint it because guess what as soon as they dismount they have to use the room as a hotel rooms immediately after you cannot touch anything but to just to remove the curtains or switch off the tv this is pretty much as much as you can do and everything has to work around the installations of the hotel rooms like the bed the bathrooms and i visited another Another Italian booth is called the Display, and I really enjoyed this uh, unique piece in the bathroom. Is the unicorn um, glitter shit? The unicorn shit glitters in the bathroom, and when I saw it, I was laughing because I found it so cute. And every single artwork needs to be an installation, needs to be that in order to shine, to really make it work and take advantage of the hotel rooms. I was talking to Yuan Ru Gallery from Taiwan, and the artist slash gallerist told me that she was giving the keys to this room the night before the exhibition before the opening and she was like oh my goodness I have to set up everything according to the distribution of the room which she was not given or she was not familiar before so she had to make the last minute adjustments the fact that she was the artist too so she has the authority to manipulate and change the artworks according to the distributions of the rooms and she was telling me the fact that she had to do it as she was making installation works for the first time in her life and that was something an experience for her and she enjoyed it because it was a challenge and when the results it turns out to be good and she felt like she learned and she experienced a totally new thing the last thing I want to say is that hybrid art fair is special it's cool it's trending it's experimental it's new media it's many things but it's not for everybody if you are a visitor artist or gallerist and you want to participate in the fair you need to have an open mind if your mind is not open you will not be able to like really take it in and make the most out of it for example I was talking to a gallerist uh, in uh, the drawing room across the street and the gallerist told me that he will never show in the hotel room because he will not put the artwork on the hotel bed and he feels not the right way to do it for him personally because of the artworks and the artist he represents is not not suitable so you need to be a really different kind of people open and willing to try willing to experiment and I really think that this is the key to be able to make the most out of the hybrid for example I was talking to a senior artist from Yuan Ru Gallery he is from Taiwan and he had been painting for more than 40 years and I asked him do you feel offended showing your work in the hotel bed because for an established artist like you senior you might even feel uh, humiliated or uncomfortable comfortable showing your art here and he told me that to be able to show his work in Madrid the cultural capital
capital of Europe to be able to meet local collectors and have this experience. He was satisfied and he knew that it would be in the hotel room and he did not feel offended because he had an open mind and he was willing to try and especially if he's not in his home country and that he is a foreign artist. So as a foreign artist, you cannot have everything, right? So when you are a foreigner, obviously you enter a country, the first thing they'll ask is, do you have a visa, right? So you really need the visa to go inside and for him the visa is the flexibility to show his art in all situations to all kind of people and he even chose a different kind of work a more let's say European touch uh, earlier work of his from many years ago he's not painting the series anymore so he was willing to show let's say um, downgrade himself a little bit to fit in the environment and that was his opinion so as you can see you can be uh, established you can be young you can be anything and everything but you need to have an open mind to say okay i will go to the hotel room i will sleep in the room where i'll show my work and i will be able to you know establish myself and adapt myself in the situation i think that's really the beauty of the hybrid and the hybrid art fair is one of its kind so you like it or not let me know leave me a comment in the comment below and if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to click like and subscribe thank you very much and see you in the next video